cleaned his pantry. So in a previous video, I did what I call cornbread beans. And I told you that I would show you how to do a quick and easy way to get beans together when you've thought about having beans for a meal at the last minute. So we're gonna use the pressure cooker. I'm not gonna use the programmable one. I'm gonna use the good old fashioned one on the stove. So you can use a programmable electric pressure cooker. I have one of those as well, but um, I actually feel like I have more control with this one and I know when things are done and uh, yeah. So we're gonna do some quick and easy from dried beans out of a bag into the pressure cooker and on your table in very little time. So let's go do this and I'll show you how I do Okay, it. so this is how quick and easy this is. You're gonna need a small pressure cooker. Um, this, as I've said in a previous video, was my mother-in-law's and um, when she passed away, my daughter got this and she said, I'll never use it, Mom. So you wanna make sure um, that it's in good working condition. This stopper goes up and down you can see daylight through the vent hole here, which I can, and then examine your rubber gasket. This is in excellent condition, even though I like to have a backup on hand. Uh, this actual, this pressure cooker is probably 30, 40 years old. Um, I know she had it as long as I can remember, and now I've had it. <laughs> so so I, fill, um, I fill the pressure cooker up to the fill line before I put the beans in. I want plenty of water because this is going to go on the stove for 50 minutes, just shy of an hour once uh, the weight starts rocking and it's under pressure. And so I'm going to pour out, well maybe, let's see how I can do this easily. These are sorted, already sorted before I put them in the jar. Um, these are pinto beans, so I want a cup and a half of pinto beans to that water. Don't add salt or your beans will be tough. These are going to be absolutely delicious. I'm going to make barbecue beans with these uh, for dinner. And it's quick and easy from dry beans to completely soft and delicious in uh, about an hour and 15 minutes total. Um, that's with heating up and cooling down and uh, actually putting the barbecue together. So that's our beans. We're gonna get our lid on and you have to line it up just like that. Clip it shut and then you don't put the weight on until this is pressurized and it starts venting. You don't have to wait for it to vent for 10 minutes uh, like you do in a canning situation. Um, I'm gonna put my weight on and when it starts rocking, I'll start my timing, so. Okay, so it is venting. The popper is up back here, so it is pressurized. We're going to put the weight on. I'm not going to start timing this until that weight starts dancing. And once it's dancing away, then we'll put the timer on for 50 minutes, just under an hour. And these beans come out fabulous. I do want to say, too, I did not put the little rack at the bottom to keep them off the bottom. I, it, they just fall through and it's really not necessary with beans as long as you have plenty of water in here I don't mind if there's water still in there when these are done because I can drain them if I want to Okay, so the timer is going off. It's time to clear and turn the burner off and you're going to find How fast this comes down It just comes down nice and easy now if I was in a hurry I could cool this pan off because there aren't any jars in there. We're not canning. I could cool this uh, pressure cooker down by running cold water over it and bring it down to pressure really fast like the chefs on the Food Network do. But And I've done that before, but it's not necessary. We're not going to eat for a while, and so I'm not going to worry about it. But you can see how fast it comes down. It's a smaller pot than a pressure canner. And even the pressure canners come off of pressure pretty quick, considering how large they are and how hot it is. So we won't remove that weight, though, until the little button, let's see, here in the back is down. I think you can see it, yeah. When this stopper goes down, then we can take that weight off. So that's all we're waiting for. 
And we'll be back to flavor up these beans and show you how to do it. As you can see, it's down beans. off of pressure. This stopper is down. I can take my weight off. And I let this come down on its own. Over here on this other burner, I have some, about a half of a small onion that I just got to soften up in some olive oil and butter, um, just so it's not crispy, crunchy. We're gonna go ahead and open this lid and reveal. Make sure you let that steam out. And I let this sit here a little bit, and you can see there's some liquid, but not an extreme amount of liquid. I'm gonna set that in my sink, but hopefully you can see what I see. <laughs> Oh, look how beautiful. I am going to drain some of this liquid off because we're going to make barbecue beans out of this. Now these weren't seasoned at all. I'm going to take one and blow on it and just show you in the camera how easy that smashes together. That is so soft mm, and delicious. Okay, so I'm going to drain some of this liquid, and then I'm going to bring you back and show you how I quickly season it up from things you already have in your pantry. Okay, you don't need so anything So I drained special. my beans off. Not, I mean, it, they're not dry, dry. There's still a little bit of liquid in the bottom there, but not a whole bunch. We are going to put down some Worcestershire sauce, and we'll try to measure out a tablespoon and a half, I'll say that is. <clears throat> Note to self, I need some more. I need some liquid smoke in here because we want barbecue. So we're going to say a tablespoon of liquid smoke. And I've got uh, hickory on this one. Remember, we didn't season these at all. So, and we like our barbecue beans a little sweet and spicy. So I've got some brown sugar, and this is a third of a cup. We're going to go. A third plus one, eh, about a fourth, whatever that is. To start with, it could end up more or less. And then I've got some organic, no high fructose corn syrup ketchup. And we're going to say about two thirds of a cup of that to start with. And then I've got, again, some great yellow mustard. And we're going to give that yeah, about two, three tablespoons of that. We're going to add in our onion. And, oh, this is going to be so good. I'm very excited. I want a little bit of cayenne for some heat. And then we've got some balsamic vinegar. And I'm going to add in, oh, this is a really nice aged balsamic. We'll start with a quarter cup and go from there. Now you can see why we didn't want to leave that liquid in there because it would end up too liquidy. We're actually gonna let this reduce a little bit. See how it looks. You can kind of eyeball it. I might want to put a little bit of molasses in here, but I'm gonna give it a taste just to see where I'm at, and they're already looking fantastic. And so once this reduces, they're gonna be absolutely perfect. And look at that, you've got beans that cost me pennies. Literally, there's 50 cents worth of beans in here and maybe 50 cents worth of condiments out of my pantry. So for about a dollar, uh, you can have barbecue beans that you did yourself. So let me give that a little taste. And we'll see where I need to adjust. I did salt my onion when I was sweating them down. So I'll give this a taste. Mmm. Wow. I love the balsamic in there. 
I've got this on a low heat, medium low. Mm. The only thing I want is a little more kick. It's perfect barbecue. Mm, my gosh. A little more kick. So I'm going to put a little bit more cayenne pepper in there just to give it some heat in the background. And that's really it. It's got that smoky flavor that we love. We're going to let this reduce and I'll go get to glazing my chicken here and there you go. Now you could add some bacon or ham to this, but I'm not going to. We're going to leave it just the way it is. Let this reduce a little bit. Not a whole bunch. It really doesn't need it. And um, that's how quick and easy some barbecue beans are in your pressure cooker. From dry to fantastic. Okay, I'm going to give you a taste test and then I'm going to let you go. I believe. Mmm. Absolutely, undeniably perfect. So tangy and sweet, but not overly sweet. A little background heat at the back of your tongue. We love these. So I hope this inspires you. You guys, if you're not a subscriber and you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit subscribe and come back. Almost every day I upload um, many, many times a week. I'm <laughs> uploading videos. So if this does inspire you to stay, go down in the About section below. Check out all the links I've left where you have got my Facebook page, my Wild Tree website where you can go shop for all natural organic products with no preservatives ever. Uh, or you can check out Zacon Foods and see what they've got um, where you can buy bulk meat at a deep discount but top quality. Uh, and they just email you of an event in your area. You can go sign up and give them your email. And uh, I also have my mailing address down there if you ever want to drop me a line for any reason um, or send me something you'd like me to review, uh, you can do it there. All right, guys, I'll see you next time with more delicious, easy recipes and economical. God bless.